It's got a nice, like, look at the, look at the layers there. Mm. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, whoa. I got a lot of soda there. <laughs> Not a lot of ice cream. Mm. There we go, this is delicious. It tastes like creamy, smooth Dr. Pepper. It's good. I mean, it tastes good. It's very soda-y. This is gonna sound a little too maybe deep or whatever. And maybe they planned this, but it's perfect. And the ice cream is sinking into the soda as I drink it. It's like melting, but forming a whole new creation. Oh, good. This is a medium. And honestly, this thing keeps getting better as you melt, as it melts. So like, uh, you know, if you can walk down the street, nice, like hot day like today, got all these guys out here, they're all sweaty and gross. And like you, you got this cool, like little McFloat thing. Maybe give it a little stir. You know, the Coke float is good, but it's not as good as the Dr. Pepper one. Um, it just tastes like Coca-Cola. It's maybe a little bit creamier, but it doesn't have the same kick to it as the Dr. Pepper. I think that the Dr. Pepper is much better suited to a float format than the Coca-Cola. Um, Dr. Pepper one's definitely better. I think I prefer this one, honestly. This is kind of weird, Coke and ice cream. If I had to choose between these two? The Dr. Pepper. I think that this is gonna appeal to a lot of people. It's a nice dessert. Um, it's really sweet, really nice. Um, it's really hot outside, so I think people will really like it. I think $1.99 to treat yourself to something, I mean, this is, I think they're actually underpriced. $1.99, I think, I think if, <laughs> I'm thinking in terms of dollar pizza. I would rather get two slices of dollar pizza in New York City than one of these. How come this wasn't in the States before this? I think Americans are gonna lose their